Hey Ogre peeps, so this video is going to be about imines and enamines. And if you guys take a look at the board and as, as you watch my video, you'll start realizing that this reaction and the mechanism is very similar to the oxygen nucleophile reaction with the carbonyls that give you uh, acetals and diols. The, the link for those videos is right here, if you guys are confused and don't know what I'm talking about. But um, yeah, so for imines and enamines, I'm sure you guys are liking that just as much as acetals and all that stuff. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, it's, kind, it's kind of confusing at first, but once you do the mechanism out and look at the reaction and you compare the two, it's actually not that bad at all. So hopefully after watching this video, it'll be a lot more better for you guys. Okay, so when you want to create an imine or enamine, which I'm not going to explain to you guys yet what they are, but when you create them, what you usually use is one, a, nu a nitrogen nucleophile. So the most common example is going to be amines which I use in my example. I use a primary amine and a second, secondary amine. And the reason why I'm using a primary amine and a secondary amine is because depending on which one you use, you're going to get very different products. One of them is going to give you the imine and the other one's going to give you the enamine. Okay? Alright, and then uh, your nitrogen nucleophile is also going to have to react with uh, a molecule that contains a carbonyl. And a carbonyl is just a carbon-oxygen double bond. In case you guys did, re did watch my acetal video, you might hate me right now because I'm going to be a little bit repetitive, but I just want to make sure that for the those of you who didn't watch the acetal video, you guys will know what I'm referring to when I uh, refer to these terms, like carbonyl. So yeah, uh, carbonyl is just a carbon-oxygen double bond, and one of the functional groups that contains a carbonyl is a ketone, which I use in my example here. Okay? I use this kind of like pigeon-like molecule. But uh, yeah, other than that, if you watch my acetal video, you, all, you might also recognize the acid and base part of it. Uh, the, the reaction to create acetals, just like imines and enamines, requires either acid or base to catalyze the reaction. And um, so what a catalyst basically is, is a molecule uh, that speeds up a reaction, it kind of helps it along. They usually help out with like balancing the charges or like moving protons around, and that's the exact reason why you're using acid or base, because those two molecules work with protons a lot. Alright, and an example of a catalyst that you guys might be able to relate to is sort of like enzymes. So enzymes are never used up in a reaction, and you never make more of enzymes in a reaction. So that's why when you do your mechanism out, make sure you're not losing your acid in the end. Like at the end stuff, like if you, if you use acid in the beginning, you should get it back at the end. And if you use base in the beginning, like OH minus, then you should get it back at the end. So yeah, uh, so just keep track of that. Uh, and that's like another way to make sure you have, you're doing the mechanism out correctly. Okay, and I have HCl and OH minus here for my acid and base, but you don't have to use those. Uh, different professors give different acids and bases, so it might be hydronium, it might be uh, sulfuric acid, yeah, double check with your notes for those. But uh, yeah, so they give you your amine and enamines. If you're curious about what these things are, don't worry. They're part of like the trick that, they're part of, they're, they're involved in the trick that I use to kind of remember what an amine and an enamine actually is. So. I'll explain that in just a bit. But first, I want you guys to just take a look at the two reactions, and we're going to do product prediction first. So I want you guys to take a second and just predict what the product is when you combine a ketone and a primary amine. And I gave you one of the products, it's water. But uh, the reason, uh, what you call it, the color of the, the, the color I use for the water molecule is actually very important. So that might help you guys out a little bit. So it's green there, and pay attention to what's green on this side, okay? Alright, so uh, yeah, take a second, pause your video, and uh, try and do that. Okay, one of them is going to give you this, uh, blah, and boom, these are the products that you, should, that you guys should have gotten. So, did you guys get this? If you did, nice job. If you guys didn't, no good, no I'm kidding, it's fine. But um, yeah, so in your reaction where you, you did a primary amine and a ketone and you combined them, uh, you should have gotten a imine, which is this product here, and then, and water as well. But when you did the reaction with ketone and a secondary amine, you should have gotten an enamine, which is right here. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to explain why I had these two up here. So, and the reason why I wrote imine like this is because uh, the trick that I use to memorize what the product of uh, a primary amine and a uh, ketone is is an imine, and like what it is is that imine because there's two I's in it, and then the imine molecule has a double bond between the nitrogen and the carbon. That kind of like, like the two eyes sort of look like the bond, the double bond there. 
So immediately upon seeing the amine, I just think, okay, it's going to be a carbon that will bond into a nitrogen. And essentially what happens is this part of your primary amine, which is the, the nitrogen and its carbon chain, is going to be moved up here, replacing the oxygen. And then the oxygen is going to be kicked off by the nitrogen and it's going to turn into water. Okay. And beyond that, right, because nitrogen is different from oxygen, oxygen is neutral and happy when it has two bonds. Nitrogen is happy and neutral when it has three bonds. So if your product is going to have nitrogen replacing oxygen and having a double bond here, then it can only have one more bond to it, right? And it's always going to be the carbon chain. Because what's easiest to kind of throw away is going to be these two hydrogens right here. And that's why if you work with a primary amine, you can get an amine. But if you, if you have a secondary amine, and you still have to throw away those two, uh, those two bonds, well, you only have a a hy one hydrogen in this case and two carbon chains. So it's not really worth it to throw away a carbon chain and uh, maintain that double bond. So instead, the nitrogen only throws away one hydrogen and keeps both of the R group carbon chains. And instead of a double bond being here, you kind of do an elimination reaction on a beta carbon, which is carbon two carbons away from a nitrogen. So this is like the alpha carbon, which you guys might have heard of before, and then this is the beta carbon. And there's actually two beta carbons, because there's one over here as well. So an elimination reaction can occur at either points right here. And then in case you guys still aren't too sure about what an, elim an elimination reaction is, just check out the link right below, and then um, hopefully it'll make it a little more clear. Okay, and if you guys just want to see the, the mechanism out, the mechanism will be one of the later videos. Just check on my uh, channel, and you'll find it. Okay, uh, let's see, what else? So yeah, that's the enamine. And the trick that I used to remember what an enamine actually is, is that because there's a carbon-carbon double bond here, you have a alkene, right? Because this is what an alkene is. Or, yeah, alkene. And that's exactly what's here, a carbon-carbon double bond. Well, in your enamine, the reason why there's an ene part here is because you have an alkene there. And then the amine is basically this part here, the nitrogen bonded to carbons. And that's why I have this here. Enamine is basically uh, an alkene with an amine. Right? Alkene with an amine. And an imine is just an amine with a double bond. And right there. Okay? Hopefully you guys uh, will find that trick helpful. If not, then it's okay. But yeah, if you guys have any questions or something was unclear here, feel free to post a comment down below. Uh, my next video is going to go over the mechanism for this reaction here, and the one following that is going to be the mechanism for creating an enamine. Yeah, okay? So if you uh, want to see how I think about mechanisms, and just need, or just need like a virtual study buddy, I'm here for you. Uh, the videos are a little more interactive because you guys are going to be doing the mechanism with me, and hopefully I want you guys to be one step ahead of me, guessing what my next move will be when I do the mechanism. Alright, thanks. See ya.